Well, hello and welcome to day 12, the final day of the 12 Days Behind Bar series. I'm in Bozeman, Montana, and we're going to check out the Dutton Ranch. My hosts, the Howards, they were so gracious. They brought me into their home and they took me to Billy Currington last night over to the fair in Bozeman, Montana. It was absolutely phenomenal. And now we're gonna go through Bozeman and towards Darby. I'm gonna show you guys Montana and get over to that Dutton Ranch. Let's get started. So I had kind of hoped that they were having some type of bike wash here that I could at least, you know, clean up some of this mess because the bike is looking rough. You know what they say though, ridden, not hidden. Well, all right, well, good day to you guys and welcome to the final Today, the final episode of this series we got so much to cover today uh, first I start off saying yesterday uh, I, I went from Buffalo Wyoming to Bozeman Montana and I didn't film a single thing and that was that was kind of weird it, it was different for me because I'd been doing so many of these episodes and daily edits that I don't know if it's going to throw me off my game just a little bit because once you get into that flow and taking a, a, an entire day off, you know, just a little bit different. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to be back and with you guys and for everybody who's watched all 12 uh, episodes of this series, I would like to thank you. I appreciate all those great comments as well. So I met up with uh, Brian and Jess and it's a funny story. So Brian, many, many, many moons ago, was my supervisor when I was in a sales job. We used to go surfing before work, and I'd always be over at their house for like Super Bowl parties and things like that. Just really, really good people. So on this trip, the wife brings to my attention that she saw that Brian and Jess moved to Bozeman, Montana, and that was going to be on my route home. So I reached out to them, and just had a, an amazing time catching up. I mean, I hadn't seen them in over a decade. Their boys are, are grown men. They were just little kids. It's just so crazy. It's just another great experience of being out here on a motorcycle and uh, reminiscing with old friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this final episode of this series as we go through the great state of Montana. Now let's go crush the miles. That was an absolutely beautiful stretch of road there going through those mountainside. It was a little congested, but I'm sure it, I mean, it was still beautiful, but I would have loved to have taken that. There was a, a few less cars on the roadway, but it was awesome. Montana, I tell you what, it's good to be here. So if this is your first time watching this series, um, typically what I'm trying to do is take you through my thought process, try to keep it a little bit more raw and not as polished and tell you a little bit about my thoughts. And right now, my girls are, are weighing heavy on my mind. I need to see uh, the wife and the kiddos you know, back home. I know I'm starting to, to work my way back there right now and I think that's what just kind of increases, you know, the, the want to see them sooner but I am excited to take you guys over to the Dutton Ranch uh, I hope it's a cool experience I know very little you know as far as what kind of access we can get there so we'll just have to see but Yellowstone love that show all right let's continue to crush these miles So we're at our first gas stop. Uh, that was just 108 miles of absolute beauty. Enjoyed every second of it. 
Um, Montana, just a great state to, uh, to ride in if you guys haven't been up this way. We still have about 76 more miles to go before we get to Darby. So just topping off on fuel and we're getting right back on the road. just cruising through these Montana canyons I'm starting to kind of reflect back on this uh, this series this 12 days behind bar series so my question to you is is this type of a format something that you would like for me to continue uh, even back home in San Diego uh, and take you to just different places that I go and not necessarily in a series but just moto vlogs in this type of format i'd be very very curious if you guys want to leave a comment down below on whether i should just stick to what i've been normally doing or kind of introduce this format as kind of like the new direction for this channel i i'm enjoying making this style of content and i thought about only doing this style for you know my longer road trips and things like that but maybe i just do it all the time i don't know so just a simple question for you. I don't know if it's a silly question because I know people are probably gonna say, just make what you want. Yeah, I get that. But you know, I do make these videos so that you guys will watch them. And so I, I, I do want your input. So let me know, comments down below. I read them all and I will get to them all. Now let's continue to enjoy this beautiful countryside. I mean, look at this. All right, time to crush some miles. Even the rest stops out here are gorgeous to pull into. I've never seen anything like it. So I kind of had it wrong at the gas stop. I, uh, I still had quite a few more miles than I thought. So I'm still 103 miles away uh, from the actual ranch itself. So let's get back on the road. I'm currently going through the town of Missoula, Montana, and it's it's pretty nostalgic to me because years ago, when I was a kid, my dad started taking me fly fishing, and it just brings back all these memories here in Missoula. There's actually a little breakfast joint that we used to always eat at. It was called The Shack. I just went over there to snap a photo, and it's closed. It didn't survive COVID. I'm so bummed. But, you know, some of the things are, are coming back to me as I'm driving through the town of Missoula and looking at the rivers that we used to fly fish on. Just simply amazing. But we are 64 miles from Darby and we're gonna cut through Missoula real quick and crush the rest of them miles. So let's go. to give you a quick update on the bar setup now that I have traveled uh, 4,576 miles and I went from the ape hangers to the thrash and supply t-bar setup I will tell you it has been outstanding I have zero regrets in the beginning I thought that the road feel uh, with the t-bar setup and the, the top triple tree I thought that was going to be a little bit troublesome but not a problem whatsoever it's been uh, just a, a really good comfortable setup like my arm position is in the perfect spot and i've got no complaints so if you're looking at the t-bar setup and you're kind of curious about doing distance riding it's uh it's fantastic but yeah we've got 26 miles to go before we're at the dutton ranch let's get on it
Well, all right. We are in Darby, Montana, and we're about two miles from where the entrance is for the ranch, which is known by many as the Dutton Ranch. That's not even its real name. I uh, gotta thank the wife for kind of putting this on the map. She kind of was coming up with the ideas of my route home and made mention that since I'm gonna be traveling around that I should stay to the north, go through Montana and, and visit visit this ranch. And this little town of Darby looks really cool too as we're coming through here. Now I'm not sure exactly, I don't wanna be rude obviously. Um, I'm gonna to try to see what they're gonna allow me to actually even do there, but we're gonna be obviously as respectful as possible. But if we get invited in, I'm not gonna say no. I will uh, definitely wanna go check that out. But look at this, this, uh, this town reminds me of Deadwood. A lot. Like this is, this is crazy. It'd be cool if I could find a place to actually stay here in Darby. I wonder what type of lodging they have. All right, 1.3 miles to go. Let's do it. So it's gonna be really hard to get inside here, but you know, unless somebody comes by and we chat them up and they invite us in. One thing we do have is a drone. I am a product of change. I got the product and things. Turning my L's into gains. Channel the pain. Looking to better the days. Yeah. You are a product of fear and the men and the men. You can't get away from them things. And I am aware. Fully prepared to devilly speak. So a couple things that I figured out, kind of just looking at it. They have this locked down pretty good. No trespass signs everywhere, obviously, because people are probably coming. I mean, there's been, I don't know, 15, 18 cars, bikes that have stopped but there's also these pillars up here with cement blocks on them. I'm assuming that they have a different ingress, egress point on this ranch. It only makes sense, but uh, it is still a cool sight to see. I'm trying to get a snap a pick of a bald eagle that I just saw flying around here, but I have lost where he went. All right, let's go into Darby, see if we can get a place to stay for the night. I, I still have a lot of riding to go. Maybe there's a bonus video in the future. <laughs> 